Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, the NumPy stack in Python. In this lecture, what I want to do is get at the heart of this problem, that machine learning isn't magic, but rather it's just geometry. We're going to do this by looking at both regression and classification purely from a geometrical standpoint, without any regard to what the data actually means. Let's start with the regression problem, since I think this is the easiest to visualize. As discussed earlier, the simplest problem is just finding the line of best fit. There are two ways we can make this problem more difficult. First, we can make it so that the pattern is not a line. But this is fine, and it doesn't change the fact that it's still a geometry problem. As discussed in the previous few lectures, we can think of this as a polynomial, and instead find the polynomial of best fit. Another way we can make this harder is to add more input dimensions. So the object is no longer one-dimensional, but has two or more dimensions. However, this still doesn't change the fact that it's a geometry problem. You have lines, curves, hyperplanes, hypercurves, and so forth. This is all just geometry. Now let's consider the classification problem. As usual, we're going to find it useful to start with an example, but we're going to throw this away as soon as possible. So suppose we collect a set of data points, the height and the weight of a number of individuals, and we would like to predict whether they are male or female. Remember that each row in the table is a feature vector, and for each vector, I can draw a point on this grid. So what I would like to do is, draw all the boys as blue dots and all the girls as red dots. Now what have I done here? Well, I think it's pretty clear that there is a pattern. All the boys go in the top right corner and all the girls go in the bottom left corner. What I can do is draw a line or a curve if the pattern was more complex between these two groups. I would call this my classification boundary. Now what I can do is say I have a new point but you don't tell me whether it's a boy or a girl. Well, I can use what I've learned from the training data. So for example, you just tell me the height and the weight, and I can tell you whether or not that's a boy or a girl. So how do I do this? Well, I can look at which side of this line this new point goes on. I know which side represents boys and which side represents girls. And so from that, I can predict that this point belongs to a boy. And so you can see how classification 2 is just a geometry problem. It has nothing to do with boys or girls or heights or weights. It's just here are some red dots, here are some blue dots. How do I find a line that goes between them? Here is another example. Suppose I would like to determine whether or not someone has some disease. So we build a model for it. We measure each individual's blood pressure and BMI. And then we make a plot just like this. The blue dots are for those who have the disease, and the red dots are for those who don't. Well, the problem remains the same. It's still a geometry problem. Here are some red dots, here are some blue dots. How do I find a line that goes between them? From this, I can take any new data point, a blood pressure measurement and a BMI measurement, and I can predict whether or not this person has that disease. But this is still a geometry problem. In fact, I didn't even bother to change the picture. So I hope this lecture helps to put machine learning into perspective for you. Machine learning is not magic. In fact, in reality, it's just a geometry problem. Some people like to say machine learning is nothing more than glorified curve fitting. But whatever you want to call it, the truth is this. Regression is nothing more than taking a bunch of dots and finding a curve that fits nicely to those dots. Classification is nothing more than taking a bunch of colored dots and finding the curve that goes between them. 